that's it that's it that is the last beta and now betas are going to over as we're going to expect rc update next week hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video i am talking about the ios 18.1 we have seen four public updates and four public beta updates and seven developer beta updates for now i'm using the latest beta and that is going to be the last beta as we know you are going to get rc very soon yes every other update brings a lot of features stability performance bugs everything and so far the journey was really good for now i'm running ios 18.1 public beta 4 slash developer beta 7 it is one of the best update in terms of performance and in terms of battery life so in this video we are going to give an overview to you guys about the battery life how the battery went um, over the so many days and how the performance is going on and when we are going to see 18.1 rc update if you want to know about the features i have done a lot of videos about the features go and check out my channel this video is not about the features this is about something else so let's get into it and let's see the battery stats into the settings into the battery I will not stretch this video. I will try to keep this video short and simple. These are the last 10 days battery performance. And I will start from here. As you can see, used 100% on my phone and 9 hours and 1 minute screen on time where I use Netflix, YouTube, WhatsApp, and some other applications a lot. As you can see, really good battery life, pretty much already improved. Over here, I used around 90% of my battery and I got 7 hours and 15 minutes screen on time. Again, I used Netflix for a while, YouTube and some other applications as you can see. Now, if I go on this day over here, as you can see, I used for around 75 to 80% of my uh, device over here, as you can see, 75 to 80% and I got 8 hours and 24 minutes screen on time, really impressive. Um, three plus three minutes of Netflix. I'm actually I'm gonna take a screenshot because this is really good. I want to keep this so I can you know use it as a benchmark. A really good battery life. Use Instagram a lot, WhatsApp a lot, some other applications as you can see. Over here again, I use 85 to 90 percent. You can say or 85 to 87 percent. This time it is not that good because Water Llama was running in the background for almost six hours and it consumed a lot of battery that is one thing so yeah overall if i conclude the battery life developer beta 7 slash public beta 4 brings a really good battery life i'm properly satisfied with the battery and i really want that apple take this battery life to the rc update and then to the official update now let's get into it and let's talk about the geekman score over here so going into the Geekbench over here, into the CPU benchmark, CPU history. This is the highest benchmark for the 18.1 betas. 5716 on a multi-core, while 2324 on a multi-core. One of you shared a benchmark of 18.0.1 on iPhone 14 uh, Plus. That was even better than this. But I'm using 18.0.1 on this device from where I am, you know, recording this video. I'm it is really good update but not that good but for some people it is giving a really good benchmark but over here it gives me the best benchmark when it comes to 18.0.1 i haven't installed the 18.0.1 on this device because i shifted to the 18.1 betas but again it is a really good update really good scores i was getting a lot of bugs in previous betas in like beta 5 especially but every other bug is pretty much fixed i'm not facing any sort of bug on this update which is a really really good news so i think apple should carry or maybe improve this even better for the rc now let's talk about when we can going to see rc update well we are expecting to see rc update on 21 and 22nd of october i mean, like from these days it could be any day we are expecting this and for the final release i'm expecting to get it on 28th of october so this is what i am getting so the people who are waiting for the 18.0.2 update i did a video about that on my channel go and check out that video i have mixed feelings about 18.0.2 i think that update might not come because if rc is coming over here 
when 18.0.2 will come and if 18.1 is coming over here will there be two separate stable updates that make no sense so i think might be there no 18.0.2 or maybe over here some days i'm not sure i talk about this in detail in that video go and check out that video on my channel well this is all from this video i really wanted to keep this video short and simple this is what i did um in terms of features i want to talk about one more important thing there are set of apple intelligence features new siri that are coming alongside that there are many other changes that are coming like features too like call recording a lot of things in control center and some changes in with the messages keyboards a lot of stuff is coming to 18.1 but you need to understand that the apple intelligence and siri plus features are not for the every other iphone they are for only six different iphones six different iphones that include iphone 15 pro 15 pro max iphone 16 16 plus 16 pro 16 pro max and every other feature other than Apple intelligence is coming to all devices, including these devices. So many of you asking, they are not getting Apple intelligence. There is no silly new animation. They are updating their iPhone 13, blah, blah, blah. Well, being very honest, it is not coming. It will never come on your device, even on my device. I know it's a bit of a disappointing thing because Apple intelligence is a big thing and it is going to be the main highlighting for the next couple of months maybe, but it's just not there. It is only for like few, few iPhones. Yeah, bit of a disappointing, but it is what it is. So if you want to get access to the all new Apple intelligence features, well, you need to have at least at least iphone 15 pro or you can go for the latest one in future definitely i will try to put my hands on these latest devices and i will try to bring videos about apple intelligence but for now even i don't have that phone that supports apple intelligence and this is one of the main reasons why i'm not able to show you the features of apple intelligence now I know it's a bit of a disappointing but it is what it is and for now I can't do much about it. Well this is all from this video. If you have any sort of issues with the battery life or with the performance just drop in the comment section below. I'm always here. I'm always trying to listen to you guys and I always try my best to be active on YouTube studio so I can answer your questions. Well, this is all from my side. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everything is going great. And I will catch you in my next video. Under that, take care. Peace out. And just enjoy your weekend. By the way, my weekend was really good. I was watching Netflix and other stuff. I also edited what's on my iPhone video. Well, that video is up. If you haven't checked what's on my iPhone video, go and check out that video. There are more than 150 applications, which I talk about that. Well, this is all. See you next one. Peace out.